Well, welcome back to Partick Hill Station once again. So, moving forward for my next little tip project exercise. I've downloaded from dbzart.com uh, these railway corridor templates that would fit most Triang Hornby gauge carriages. So if you want to try uh, to make your own corridor uh, for your coaches, then go to debrisart.com and download uh, this template here and cut them out. That's the main fold line and then the others are fold that way and then that way. Um, you can make make them longer and may give you more flexibility and you could use uh, some blue tack or white tack at the ends to keep it attached uh, to the end of the coach anyway that's an interesting way to do it there are others and i will explore them but in the meantime let's make it i've just outlined uh, these corridor gangways uh, on black poster board and they are one centimeter by 2.3 centimeters so I'll cut this and this will give me two sets and on this one I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve which is the same as I did with that set there. So it'll be interesting to see a comparison uh, between the two. Now at the moment, as you can see, I've got them rectangular shaped. I might trim the corners on each of them and see how it looks. There's two triangle coaches. In this particular case, they have um, different couplings, as you can see. But just to give you an idea, the distance is 12 millimeters. So, how this will work is I'll take this template. And I will paste it to, in this particular exercise, a piece of black poster board. It's quite thin, flexible now. <clears throat> I'm not sure how many grams that weighs, but they recommend, you know, something like 60 GSM. Um... Uh, but I'm going to try this and, and see how it how it works. Anyway, uh, there are a couple of ways of doing this, and this is only one. You can buy them pre-made. There is a company in England who makes them. And when I last saw a, a video about it, they were five for four pounds. So it might be a set like that all ready to assemble, made from some kind of card. Anyway, uh, that's uh, going to be one of our next little projects. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this up a little bit and then I will adhere it to the black poster board. Okay, so I'm ready to adhere this to the the poster board with Yoohoo stick. We'll see how that goes. Spread it evenly and then make sure you get all the bubbles out. And so that is the one the one set stuck onto the black poster board. Now 
it may be a bit on the heavy side. I won't know until I begin to fold it, so this will need to be cut out and then folded over. The other way is to just take um, the print itself, clean it all up, fold it on that line. Yeah, fold it on there carefully. So it's all lined up. This is difficult to do on the camera. Like so. Just seems to be different out of alignment a little bit but I think we can fix that anyway so we'd glue that together and then we'd fold in and then out so on and so forth to get the corrugation or the accordion effect so that's the next step um, we'll cut this one out and it's pretty tedious trying to cut that as you can imagine or see and then we'll we'll do a comparison okay so I've taken uh, the one piece of paper folded it over and scored with the dull side of the scalpel uh, down the length of the the corridor pieces and then what I'm going to do is fold that one in and then fold it out in and I'll continue that so as a result of uh, me not ensuring that they were perfectly lined and square it hasn't been a, a perfect job but you can see uh, the accordion effect and what I will do is I'll get a black marker and I'll cover all the white pieces well, let's get it installed and see how it looks And so I just go over all the little white marks where the paper has been exposed. And you can always clean up those hairs that appear and wherever the creases were from the paper bending or folding uh, you would want to do that also and on the bottom because all the rivet counters out there will notice the white and they'll tell you well you missed that spot that would be horrific It's a bit tedious all this stuff but in the end it's a kind of nice effect
and it's something we can all do. Just install that back into the one coach end. I'm guessing it has to be slightly larger but you know I think it's got the desired effect and it's better than a big gap there so let's take it to the layout and see how it placing works. a little bit of white tack on the end of the one corridor connector and I'll attach that uh, to the end of this coach here and here is the corridor connector uh, attached to the end of the one coach And you can see now how the corridor connector works and, and stays in place. So that's a, a great solution uh, to having that gap. And you know you can probably improve on it by being a little bit more accurate in terms of the size, but I think that looks pretty good. Well, as you can see, uh, the corridor connector uh, works really well, uh, but you can improve on the situation by changing uh, the couplings, and that would close that gap even further. Now, uh, I have a another style or type of corridor connector coming uh, shortly, uh, so stay tuned uh, to see that one and if you enjoyed this one remember please give me the big thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you next time here at Partick Hill Station. Bye for now.